This Archive Friday, we focus on a survivor story that continues to inspire generations after. Israel Izzy Gerwitz was born in Vilna, then Poland, in 1932. In 1941, after the Nazi occupation, his family was forced into the Vilna ghetto. Izzy's older brother, Alan, managed to escape and hid with Tonya Petrik, the family's pre-war Polish governess. Izzy and his father were sent to a labor camp. His mother and little sister were murdered in the Ponari forest. A few weeks later, Izzy was loaded into a cattle truck and through the tiny windows, he recognized they were headed in the direction of the Ponari forest. When the train approached a dark tunnel, he jumped out from the window. Izzy was trapped for hours in the tunnel between German guards until a Polish rail repairman saved him by smearing his face with dirt and leading him out pretending he was an assistant. Izzy made his way to Tonya's house and when she opened the door, he was amazed to see his brother Alan there. They were hidden in a small secret cupboard until their liberation by the Red Army. After the war, they moved to South Africa. Antonina, Tonya Petrik, and her nephew, Vitas Kosakas, were later recognized as righteous among the nations. My grandfather Izzy trusted me with his story, something I treasure and see of the utmost importance. I opened Izzy's coffee and gift shop at the Johannesburg Holocaust and Genocide Center mm -hmm. in his memory. His story at the center keeps the memory of my family alive and acknowledges the resilience of genocide survivors and the courage and kindness of upstanders and rescuers like Tonya.